summer just a little longer. Grant McComey takes us to a place you can do just that. It's a peaceful coastal stream. It offers plenty of hiking, camping, and fishing adventures. Grant's Getaways is brought to you by Visit Tillamook Coast and KGW. High in the Oregon Coast Range, the Trask River hides small pockets of cool water and refreshing moments near a county park that's often overlooked called Trask River Park in Tillamook County. A sprawling campground that's a bit of a secret with 24 tent or trailer sites. And the lucky campers can even spend the night right along the river. Pretty much a full service campground, uh, not necessarily RV, more camp style. I think you can park some RVs, but they don't have RV hookups. But there's running water and vault toilets, more of a family oriented type area. But it's just in a beautiful setting and they have a nice day use area so you can get down and use the river. The trail I like to travel is just down the narrow winding ribbon of asphalt. You'll know the spot. Watch for bald eagles soaring overhead or midsummer wildflowers still showing off. And a large trailhead sign that marks the start of a moderate hike called Peninsula Trail. It's a beautiful spot, especially when the river's down in the summer. Uh, you get a nice rocky beach that people like to go out and play on. While salmon, steelhead, and cutthroat trout swim in these waters, take some time to explore the river's nooks and crannies for something else. For this is where the crawfish live. Really easy to find. You can walk out in, in any of the pools and, and even some of the swifter water. You just start flipping over rocks. You're going to find some pretty quick. People will collect them by hand or they'll put out baited traps. Uh, similar to crabbing in the bay, only on a smaller scale. Real abundant resource to take advantage of if people are interested in that. I like to use a trap. It's a baited trap. You put the bait inside this thing, attach a rope, close her up, and toss her into the creek for a few hours. The neat thing about crawdadding is that no license is required, not even the Oregon shellfish license, and you're allowed 100 per person per day, a very generous limit. At the trap, crawfish follow a baited scent and walk through a narrow, one-way funneled opening. We leave our trap in the river just a few hours until we've enough to cook. The taste of fresh-cooked crawfish is sublime, mild, shrimp-like, and somewhat delicate. Crawfishing and summertime confirm what you may suspect. You're never too old to be a kid again, especially during those warm dog days of summer. Along the Trask River with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW. Ooh, that looks so nice. You can find all the details and directions on KGW.com. Just go to the Grant's Getaways page under the Features tab. And be sure to watch Grant's Getaways Half Hour Show this Saturday afternoon at 4 and Sunday at 3.30 right here on KGW.